Greetings in that wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are we had to rearrange the lounge as we are going into a time of communion and we just felt led to, to, to do one or two songs. So just join in with us as we do communion this evening. Um, thank you for everybody that has been patient in waiting for us. Um, we had one or two technical issues with, with just um, rebooting the, 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 the Wi-Fi. But we are here and we are ready to praise the name of the Lord. Welcome Trinity Life Church to our communion service. Amen. Let's just pray together. Father, we thank you. We honor you and we adore you, Lord, because you are King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Father, we come and we lay ourselves on the altar this evening. And we pray, Father, that everything we do will be a, a, a living sacrifice unto you, that it will be honoring to you, Father. And so I pray less of ourselves, Father, and more of you this evening in the mighty name of Jesus with much thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. We're going to do a song. I'm going to ask my son as he will lead us in music to, to just get going. Amen. you are worthy of all honor and glory in Jesus mighty hallelujah. name hallelujah worthy is the lamb for the 
say that you are worthy and father even when we don't say it and don't want to acknowledge it you remain the king of kings and the lord of lords oh father and even as we would come to your table this evening father as a church as oikos as as Kononias, as homes father we pray that your name will be glorified in it all may your name be blessed in Jesus name we pray that you will be with us as we break the bread this evening and listen to your word in Jesus mighty name amen amen, amen. we just are reshuffling our our so we can focus on the table so our technical team will do their thing We're gonna we're gonna have Abigail doing the scripture reading for us uh, this evening as we go into communion. Yes, 
Mm. Okay, so this evening's scripture reading will be from 1 Corinthians 11, from verses 20 to 26. Therefore, when you come together in one place, it is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating, each one takes his own supper ahead of others, and one is hungry and the other is drunk. What? Do you not have houses to eat and drink in? Or do you despise the church of God and shame those who have nothing? What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I do not praise you. For I received from the Lord that which I have also delivered to you, that the Lord, that the Lord Jesus, on the same night in which he was betrayed, took the bread, and when he was, be and when, sorry, took the bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it. Remembrance of me. Verse 25. In the on Facebook, the photos are being taken, and we, we tend to do this continuously. And I want to I want to say whenever we do something to, to the indigent, to the poor, let it be to build them up and not to show them off as poor and as needy and further demoralize them and make them feel like nothing. Part of our work to build is to build up people is to is to empower people and not to make them feel worthless and like nothing and i think i think uh, that same sentiment comes true as as the bible says you come here with your fancy foods and you make those who have nothing feels inadequate and the bible says we need not to do that but when we come together there is one focus and it is christ jesus when we come together as, as the body of Christ, it is one focus and our minds are set, not on tradition, our minds are cleared from anything that, that distorts that which Scripture says. And Scripture says, in remembrance of Him. And this is Jesus speaking just the night before He was crucified. In the remembrance of him. He said this is my body which is broken for you. He said this is the cup of the new covenant. My blood. When you drink it do it in the remembrance of me. And this evening. As we prepare our hearts. And I believe that you are ready to, to join in with us. And that as you have prepared the tables at your households. I want to say here this evening. We dare not think of anything else at this stage. We dare not think of anything else at this stage. This is a blanking out, putting up our blinkers and just see Christ before us. It's just about, in a remembrance of Him, just about ordering our minds and our thoughts upon the cross of Jesus. Just before, in my preparation, I was thinking of maybe playing the Passion of the Cross to help us just focus. But God is calling us. Jesus is, is, is commanding us in this, do this in the remembrance of me. And to us as a family, <coughs> pardon, when we come to the table, it's not about who's next to us. It's not who's our buddy next to us, who the girlfriend or the boyfriend is um, at that point. But it's all about who Christ Jesus is and what he was about to do on the cross of Calvary. So we, so we clear our minds, we clear our thoughts, and we focus on Jesus in the remembrance of me, he says. And after he said it and thanked, he broke the bread and he said, this is my body, which is broken for you. You know, COVID-19 is causing us to be, not be able to meet. Some churches have come together, um, ourselves and many others have decided it's too early, it's still too dangerous to do so. So we continue online, we continue live streaming. But this whole two, three months that we've been at home, as, as just one reiterated what the Bible is saying, this is my body which is broken for you. And because we are the body of Christ, we are now not in the corporate worship, but we are broken and we are in our, in our oikos, our small fellowships, our households, and we are meeting around the table as a broken body. But even in the brokenness, 
there's wholeness and there's the power of God at work. So, so you might feel that you're losing out because we're not meeting together. And yes, we need to meet together, but a time will soon come, beloved. But even as you're sitting with your family, even as you're sitting with your wife, you might be sitting alone. As we come to the table of God, know that the power of God, God's presence is with you when we meet around the table. And the Bible says, he broke the bread and he said, take it and eat it. And as I share with, with, thank you. Just where you are, just for one moment, as we celebrate the death of Christ, and his broken body of which we are part of. Just want you to become quiet, to close your eyes, and just to thank God for the cross. Thank him that we who were once not, we who were a, a people that did not belong, he created the space so that we can be called children of God. Just for a moment, become quiet in your spirit. and Just thank God. For this opportunity that was given to us through the death on the cross. Let's just pray together and just become silent together. Father, we thank you that you have died for us, Christ Jesus. Thank you that you send your Son, O oh Lord, and that, that we can celebrate life and life in abundance that we can come around this table because of the work of the cross and we thank you lord that as we eat this body we are reminded that we belong we are not vagabonds we are not thrown away we are not lost father we are not bastards tonight father but we belong we have a heavenly father to whom we belong and we thank you that we can find our identity in you. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the price that you've paid. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's eat together. I want to say that whenever I come to the table of the Lord, it's not one of memorial and doom and gloom and, and brokenness, but it's always one of celebrating because the cross, while it was horrific, it was there so that we can have life and life to the full. It was there so that we can, can, can be given a chance. Our debts that we owed was paid by him who owed no debt. And that is Christ Jesus. So when I come to this table, I'm like a slave that has been set free because of the works of the cross. So I'm always celebrating and, and people don't always identify with, with it. People don't always see it because we go into a memorial. And instead the cross for me is pointing me to a celebration because the price, on, the price that was paid on the cross brought victory and life and freedom in the Holy Ghost. And even as we come to the cup, the Bible says that this is the cup of the new covenant. You know, it is, it's the cup of the New Testament, the new covenant. And the covenant talks about what is yours is mine. As in me and my wife, what is hers is mine. And what is mine belongs to her. Whenever somebody attacks her, he's going to have to deal with me. And when some, whenever somebody attacks me, they're going to have to deal with her as well. Because we've got one another's backs. We are covered. But so also, we have a covenant partner in Christ Jesus. You might feel down and out. But I want to say when you call upon the name of the Lord, you will be saved because of the price that was paid on the cross of Calvary. And when I drink this cup, when I drink this cup, I drink this cup knowing that my covenant partner, though I might be nothing, he is everything. Christ 
is more than enough for me. So I can stand in victory, even though I might be nothing, even though I might, might have nothing to show, but I stand in victory because of my covenant partner, the, the, the covenant that Christ has set for us on the cross of Calvary. And as we come together and we drink it, we have come and we have, we have just reconnected to the body. We have come and we've reconnected to the body and we, we thank God. But this evening, I want you to thank God that you've got a God who's not the far off, but he's a God up nearby, says the word of God. We, we have a God who is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. He will never leave us nor forsake us, says the word of God. So if you feel down and out, connect to the power source, Jesus Christ. If you feel alone, I want to say just call upon the name of the Lord. He says he will never leave you nor forsake you. And as we drink, let us do so celebrating. Let us pray and thank God. Father, we thank you that we can be the head and not the tail. That we can be first and not last. Not because of our own doings, but because of everything you have done and is still doing in our lives. We thank you that we can be on victory ground just because we are connected to you. And so I pray to everybody that might feel down and out, that might feel lost at this moment, that might feel as if, if they are in a, in, a, in a doldrum, as if they are just spiraling downwards, that they will know that when they look up to the Lord, like Psalm 121 is say, saying, I, I lift my eyes to the hills from where cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. And so we come with that celebration, with that confidence, and we take this cup up and we thank you, O God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Let's drink in victory. I wonder if we can do, as we, as we close this time, if we can do, bless the Lord, the hymn, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And we're just going to do it a cappella. My voice is gone now with, 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 with preaching and just getting excited about the things of the Lord. But we're going to sing, bless the Lord, oh my soul. And I want you in your family, in your households, if you are sitting alone, just sing it with us and just celebrate the Lord because he has done great things. Hallelujah. Amen. Give us a key there, baby. Bless the Lord. Is that right? Bless the Lord. Oh, oh my soul, soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Let us bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, my soul. children father that we will love lives that is holy and acceptable and pleasing unto you oh god thank you for the cross thank you that your salva the salvation that you have rendered to us didn't come easy didn't come cheap you paid the ultimate price 
so that we can be free. May your name be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus with much thanksgiving. And all God's children say, Amen. 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 Be blessed. Amen.